Hello and welcome to Home Assistant Tips by Larry. Before we get started, we are going to assume you already have a working instance of Home Assistant and you already have ESP Home installed and working and you know how to flash a microcontroller with ESP Home. Today we are going to talk about an air quality sensor. The SGP30 is my VOC and CO2 air quality sensor of choice. We can use this sensor to tell Home Assistant when it should turn on our air purifiers. I also have a BME 280 temp and humidity sensor in this package to help the SGP30 improve its accuracy. This wiring diagram will be in the video description and on my Discord channel. Here is the parts list breakdown for this project. The links for the parts will be in the video description. Here we can see the project box that has the D1 Mini ESP32, the SGP30 air quality sensor, and the BME 280 temp and humidity sensor in it. The BME280 sensor is providing the SGP30 with the temp and humidity so it can be more precise in its readings. As I open the lid, you can see I used 2mm screws instead of glue. I did this so the SGP30 sensor would not be exposed to glue and alter its readings. The SGP30 will self-calibrate in about 12 hours. They suggest that during this calibration period that you expose the sensor to fresh air for at least 10 minutes during this calibration. I put mine next to open window. Now I am going to switch to my Home Assistant screen so you can see what entities are created. Here you can see the temp, humidity, but also the ECO2 reading and the TVOC readings. These readings are not yet correct as the SGP30 has not yet had time to calibrate. Now I am going to blow on the sensor so you can see the readings do indeed change, meaning that the sensor is working correctly. This sensor would be great to turn on an air purifier when the readings in the room got too high and then shut it off when it dropped back down. You could use a smart plug, such as the one I talked about in my previous video. The code to get the sensors working in ESP Home will be linked in the video description. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel so we can continue to make these videos and as always if you have any questions please ask them in the comments section. See you next time.